I'm Chris Duke, and today I'm taking a look at the all-new Craftsman V20 Multipurpose Inflator. This is Tool Talk. Now one thing I'd like to note is that this is part of Craftsman's awesome V20 platform. It does not, however, come with one of the V20 batteries. This is sold separately. Not a huge deal because this will also operate off your 12 volt power from your vehicle as well as straight into a wall. So let's get cracking. Comes with the owner's manual and the inflator. Coming in at just under five pounds, this compact unit has everything you need built right into it, wrapped around it, strapped on it somehow, and it's got a nice rubber handle up on top. On this side, you've got your 12 volt power so you can plug it into your vehicle, your low pressure air output, a bunch of accessories. On this side, you've got your AC so you can plug it right into a wall, your high pressure hose for filling up those tires. On the back, there's a 20 inch low pressure hose that plugs right into this side, right over here for inflating things. And if you wanna deflate things, you plug it right up here in the front. If you do have a V20 battery, you just slam it right here in the back, come back over here and turn it on if it's not on already. It's got a max pressure of 160 PSI and this digital PSI gauge right here allows you to toggle between PSI, bar, and KPA. This unit offers automatic shutoff once your desired PSI is reached. And the way you can change that is with these two buttons on the outside. Uh, maximum, of course, is 160. Once you've reached that, you go up from there. Located right above the digital display are two switches. The one on the right is for toggling between DC and AC. I've got it on DC because I've got a V20 battery in there. I would also leave it there if I had it hooked up to my 12 volt power of my vehicle. Switch it to AC if you're plugging it right into the wall. Over on the left is a toggle between high pressure and high volume. The one on the bottom is represented by a mattress icon. That's for high volume. And the one above it is a little tire icon. That's for high pressure for filling up air in your vehicle tires. Now I've had a whole slew of portable air inflators in the past and to be honest with you they've all sucked they just didn't have the features that I needed to do everything that I wanted it to do this one seems to solve that and it has all the features that I could possibly think of including a high pressure high volume option right here so that you could fill up your inflatables for your pool an air mattress or toggle it and fill up your vehicle's tires it's got three different power sources with the AC DC switch so you can use these v20 batteries that I absolutely love you can plug it into the 12 volt power of your vehicle or plug it right into the wall. It's lightweight, it's portable, it's got all the attachments. So how well does it work? Well, I've got a 35 inch tire out there on my truck I need to fill up and maybe I'll grab a pool toy. So let's get to it. Now for these big old 35 inch tires, I like to keep the PSI at 35. So let's see where this one's at. About 32. It could use a little bit more air. Let's put this on, see what it says. All right, this comes in at 29.5, so let's pump it up to 35. Got that set, flip it on to high pressure mode. Almost there. Now what's interesting is this isn't shutting off, even though it's showing a bigger number here. Showing 36 when it's on, but 34.5 when it's off. So it's testing it at the same time it's pumping it. I don't know why there's a difference, but I bet you it'll shut off when it gets a little bit higher. There we go, 35. Perfect. All right, let's pop this off and test it with the, the manual gauge. Boom, 35. All right, I've tried out the high pressure mode of this inflator with my truck's tires. It worked perfectly. Now let's try it with a big old pool inflatable, this swan right here. All right, that made quick work of the base. I got the two sides. Do those next. That ought to do it. There you have it. The Craftsman V20 inflator and a giant swan. Now, if you have any more questions on this, just head on over to tooltalk.tv. I've got the link right there for you for more information. I'll catch you next week on the next episode of Tool Talk. Fly, be free!